Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Grab a beverage of your choice. Because today, uh, I'm going to be talking about the similarities between Man of Steel and J. Michael Straczynski's Earth One. Uh, and partially, uh, mostly Volume One. So, yesterday, I was at the gym and saw that Man of Steel was playing. So, yeah, because, you know, they always have, like, TVs playing at the gym. And uh, I got home a little later and for some reason my gym has a different time zone uh, stuff showing out of different time zones, so it's earlier. And so I get I get home and I flip the TV on, and it pretty much picked up <laughs> right where I uh, left off. And uh, so I'm I'm watching it, uh, and it just seemed familiar. And I'm not talking about you know. I've seen this movie before familiar. Because, you know, I've seen it a few times. So I knew what was going on. It's it's a good movie. But there's something in the back of my head saying, and this isn't the first time that I've had that. It's, it's something in the back of my head saying, this looks familiar. This, where have they got this from? And then I, I came home and I remembered this. Now, J. Michael Straczynski is one of my favorite writers. I loved Babylon 5. I love uh, these. I've got all three of these. One, two, and three. Uh, he's got some independent comics from Joe's Comics. Uh, he, he's got a couple of books out, some fiction books. One is on the other side, S-Y-D-E. Uh, and I pulled it out, this, and started reading it again, and that is where... I saw the similarities. Now, it was Zack Snyder and, oh, what is his name? Uh, same guy who wrote the Blade movies, who wrote the movie, who wrote Man of Steel. And I swear they had to have read this book before. Okay, first off, let me just, let me go on something that just uh, comes to my mind here. Like I said, this is a good movie. There's one thing that really, honestly, bugged me about that movie. That I just, it was just not good. Jonathan Kent's death. In most uh, versions of Superman's origins and all that, Jonathan dies was like a heart attack, right? And there's a reason for that, okay? And it shows that no matter how powerful Clark slash uh, Kal-El is 
that there's certain things they just can't do. He couldn't stop him from having a heart attack. He couldn't, you know, save him from that. That's the reason why he usually dies the way he does in most uh, versions, if, if he dies at all. I know in the John Byrne version, he, he didn't. Uh, he's alive up until, you know, way past Superman coming out. Revealing himself, not, you know, coming out, but, you know. But in this one, they have that really stupid thing where he dies saving the dog from a hurricane. Uh, and it's just like, why? That, that you know, you have Jonathan going, don't do that because you'll be revealing your... Uh, your powers or whatever. But there's ways he could have done it without revealing his powers. You know, it could be just like, hey, you know, there are people who can move really fast, regular humans who can move really fast. And he could be one of them. Or he could have just sent Clark to do it. And he moved so fast that no one could see him. And so there, I mean, there's just, that whole scene was just, mm. but anyway, okay. So back to, the comparison. Uh, you have... In this, it starts out with him... Taking a train into New York. And yes, he's taking the train because, you know... In fact, he even says in here, this is... You know... His mom is saying, hey, you know, you, why don't you fly? And he says... It's better doing it this way. You know, just... It gives me a chance to slow down and see around, see things. <clears throat> and he gets there, and he starts searching around for other jobs. The whole time while he's having flashbacks to his conversation with his mother, with Martha, and flashbacks to his childhood... Because they, they want him to you know, find out what he what he wants, you know, f find out how to be who he is, you know, how to be the man that he wants to be, how to be this. And so he, he goes to, he tries out for a football team and gets offered, you know, these millions of dollars. He gets this, goes to this company that uh, is research company for stuff and gets blank check. All these different things where he could make millions of dollars. And also, and he also goes to the Daily Planet. Now, switch to Man of Steel. Right. And, you know, well, in this one, his, in this, his father's, you know, he, one of the things he's saying, he's being, his father, Jonathan, is being supportive, but he's like, yeah, you don't want to, do you want to re reveal yourself? You know, you, that's what you need to decide to do, whether you're going to reveal yourself, how you're going to do it, and do you want to reveal yourself and help everybody, or just live a normal life? Now, switch to Man of Steel, like I was saying. Uh, that's the same conversation Jonathan was having in this movie. A little differently, though, because uh, in this one, you know, like there's a scene where the school bus goes off the bridge and he saves the people on the bus and Jonathan's like, oh, maybe you should have just let the kids die because you don't want to reveal your... your uh, your powers. Now that that's kind of antithetical to Superman himself, but you can see what I'm saying is they're 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 going, and so then he's once he leaves he, Smallville in the book, he goes and starts searching all these other jobs. Now in in this, he does all these other. He's you see him doing other jobs, you know, a fisherman, a 
waiter and all that stuff. So this is a little different. They're just showing that he's he's doing these really low paying jobs to be anonymous. And you know, and if you if you see him, he's just um, and you get a little story of how he how his parents find him. And at this point, you know, he can fly, and he, he's going out to talk to John, saying, you know, giving a story. And then you've got the military uh, investigating the ship that he arrived in, or a ship that they found. Same thing that happens in here. They find a ship, uh, a Kryptonian ship, and... They're investigating it. So there's there's a lot of just stuff that's practically lifted right out of the out of this book. And when does Superman make an appearance? Once an alien from outer space arrives on Earth and starts destroying things on Earth in search of for Superman. We all know this happens. Now in this one. It's just. It's. A group of people. It's not General Zod. In the book. It is a group of aliens. Who had. Like in the fourth planet. Of. Around the sun. <laughs> While Krypton was the fifth planet. Around the sun. And. They were engaged in a war. And it turns out that the people from the fourth planet somehow managed to sabotage Krypton and blow it up. And so they're coming to look for him to finish killing off the Kryptonians. Now, does that sound familiar? Brian Michael Bendis! Brian Michael Bendis! <coughs> Here you have General Zod. And basically, it's almost exactly the same up to the point he gets trapped under the gravity thing in in here and in here. So you had Zack Snyder and uh, oh my god. Uh, sorry, I can't remember. They basically lifted the story for Man of Steel out of JMS's Earth 1. Which JMS did much better. Uh And it's, 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 they didn't really, I don't see anything in here where they give JMS any credit. Because this, there is a lot of similarities. I mean, it's, you know, and I think possibly JMS has a, uh, an argument for plagiarism, copying. I mean, hell, take a look at the B5 and DS9 thing. I mean, it's happened to him before. Uh, so what do you think? I mean, for those of you who have read the book and watched the movie, what do you think? I mean, do you think it's close enough that it, it could be plagiarism or is there uh, just an, you know similarities but not enough to be able to make the claim let me know in the comments below uh, and uh, we will talk to you a little bit later like subscribe and most of all enjoy your comments